All right, what's good, y'all? I ain't gonna lie. We got a crash out. This is like the ultimate YN, allegedly. We about to be reacting to Girl Tank K killed his op grant killed his op's grandparents facing the death penalty. We just gonna get straight into it. Make sure you hit that like button, bro. Houston rapper Guero 10K is facing a total of five murder charges after doing a drill on a rival rapper that left part of his skull missing and murdering a random couple because he thought they were his enemy's grandparents. Let's take a look at this wild story. Guero 10K is an up and coming rapper from Houston, Texas, known for tracks like Lost Myself, Wasn't Enough, and Thoughts to Myself. So far, the artist has released three EPs, including Free 10, Major Thoughts, and Karma. He isn't a huge rapper yet, and not much is known about his come up or personal life but he's getting a lot of attention recently for the multiple homicides he's been involved in over the past few years. The first occurred back in 2019 at the music video shoot for a rapper named Cash Out Ace. Cash Out Ace is another up-and-coming Houston rapper, best known for the track Vibe Got Different featuring Cap G. Cash Out Ace has been beefing with the 10K gang, which is led by Guero 10K and has 27 members according to Houston police. The gang has been accused of committing multiple drive-by shootings, murders, armed robberies, assaults, and engaging in the trafficking of narcotics and firearms. On December 27, 2019, Cash Out Ace was filming a music video in a parking lot near the intersection of Smart Street and Berwyn Drive in Houston. Ace had invited a few close friends to be a part of the video shoot and a large crowd of people had assembled in the area. Around 9.30 p.m., a vehicle pulled up beside the parking lot and started letting off shots from what sounded like an automatic weapon, hitting multiple people in the crowd, including Cash Out Ace. Police were called to the scene and found that nine victims had been injured in the attack, with two of them already dead. Cash Out Ace himself had been critically injured after being shot in the arm and head. The two victims who lost their lives were 20-year-old Gonzalo Gonzalez and 22-year-old Jonathan Jimenez. Jimenez was an extra who was invited to the shoot by Cash Out Ace, while Gonzalez was the cameraman who had no ties to the rapper before the shoot. After searching the area, police discovered several different kinds of shell casings, suggesting there were multiple shooters. Nah, they determined crazy, the shots had been fired bro. from a 9mm pistol, a 40 cal Smith & Wesson, and an AK-47. They also used surveillance footage to determine that the shooters had pulled up in a Honda Civic with two men firing shots from the passenger side and another firing out the sunroof. Police also received reports of another shooting the same night that was committed by attackers driving a Honda Civic matching the same description. When they arrived on the scene, they found a cell phone in the victim's driveway that didn't belong to anyone there. It appeared that the owner was currently trying to use an app to track the phone's location, leading police to believe it belonged to the shooter. The cops were able to get a warrant to access Guero's 10K Snapchat, which featured messages they believe were related to the shooting. In these messages, Guero mentioned Cash Out Ace by name and also referred to someone losing their phone. Plus, he referenced another person talking about the shooting on Instagram who was looking for information on someone driving a Honda Civic. Police were able to trace the messages to a man named Kevin Badillo who had ties to the 10K gang. They also found messages sent by another member of the gang that seemed to suggest he was scoping out the area before the shooting. Plus, they were able to determine that the cell phone found at the scene belonged to another member of the gang named Rico 10K. Investigators were then able to use the GPS tracking on both Rico and Guero to determine that they were both in the same location as both shootings, likely identifying them as two of the shooters. They were also able to track the vehicle using the shooting by identifying local toll records. They traced it back to the mother of Kevin Badillo, one of the dudes Guero was messaging after the shooting. They located the vehicle at a nearby used car lot when they found shell casings still inside the vehicle. A SWAT team ended up raiding Guero 10K's home, uncovering a small arsenal of weapons, as well as marijuana, codeine, a scale, and piles of cash. They also issued a warrant for Kevin Badillo's arrest, and when they brought him in, he told police everything. He admitted to being the. You see what I'm saying? Now, this is what I be telling y'all about. If you're gonna do something, do it alone. Because, bro, you may be like that, bro. But your man's, bro. When it comes down to it, and they get in that set, when they get in that interrogation room, and they start hearing you facing 25 to life and all that, bro, they're gonna rap, bro. They're gonna save themselves. They don't care about no cold, bro, at that point. Look at that. They just said he came in and ratted, he, he told everything. This is crazy, bro. A music video shooting and claimed that Guerrero and Rico were also in the vehicle, along with a fourth 10K member named Roman. He claims that Roman and Rico fired out of the back seat and sunroof with a pistol, while Guerrero fired an AK out of the passenger seat. All four men were eventually arrested and charged with a double murder, as well as participating in organized gang activity. Police have more than enough evidence to bring a conviction, including Snapchat messages, GPS tracking, shell casings found on the scene, Badillo's testimony, and all the guns and drugs that were found in Guerrero's home. If that wasn't bad enough, Guerrero would also record multiple songs that made references to the shooting, including taking a shot at Cash Out Ace by saying, play and get popped in his forehead. 
cash out Ace would miraculously make a full recovery and be able to continue his rap career despite having serious complications. He did an interview with Say Cheese TV where he opened up about the shooting and revealed that he had to learn how to walk and talk all over again. If that story wasn't crazy enough, Guerrero 10K is now being accused of killing a random elderly couple because he believed they were the grandparents of his enemy, Cash Out Ace. While investigating the shooting that took place at the music video shoot, police were also investigating the murder of an elderly couple named Ramiro and Rosalba Reyes who were murdered outside their home in 2019. That's the couple sad, had been killed boy, like, after someone followed Rosalba's Dodge him, Charger bro? as they pulled into their home on Francita's Drive. It was around 1.30 a.m. and the couple was returning from the hospital after Rosalba's mother had passed away. Rosalba was in the front seat of the Charger while her niece was driving and her sister was in the back. Her husband, Ramiro, was following closely behind them in his green pickup truck. As they got out of the car, Rosalba was shot first. Ramiro quickly ran over to help his wife and was also shot. Their son-in-law ran outside to help and was also shot in the hip. He was seriously injured but eventually pulled through. Both Rosalba, who was 61, and Ramiro, who was 63, but later passed away. The case remained a mystery as nothing was stolen from them and it appeared to have been a targeted shooting even though they were just an average couple with no known enemies. But after police arrested Kevin Badillo in connection with the shooting at the music video of Cash Out Ace, they had a feeling that he might have known something. When they questioned Badillo about the Reyes couple, he quickly broke down in tears and admitted that he and other members of the 10K gang, including Guero, Rico, and Roman, were responsible for their deaths. On the night of the murder, they had been cruising around the area in the Honda Civic that Badillo's mother had purchased him, the same car later used in the music video shooting. Guerrero was on a video call with Cash Out Ace, threatening the rapper and trying to get him to reveal his address. Ace refused to meet up, but claimed he was riding in a Dodge Charger. As they were arguing, they were passed by the Reyes couple in the Dodge Charger. So Guerrero hung up the call, believing that he just spotted his op. Cash Out Ace's brother was off- That's crazy, like, you just, yo, bro, I understand, bro, you in the streets, but this is really worth crashing out, ruining your whole life, bro. Like, I move too sloppy, bro. Like, you see a charger, so you just automatically assume that's your op, you start shooting it. Don't even see. At least, I'm not saying that's right by any means, but if you're gonna do something like that, why not at least try to confirm so you don't wanna hit no innocent people that has nothing to do with it? Like, the crash out with the 10K bro. gang and had been shot at the music video shoot. After the shooting, he told investigators that he had also been threatened by Guerrero 10K on a video chat. Guerrero claimed to know where he lived and gave an address, but the brother told him that he was mistaken and that was his grandparents' address. This must have been what made Guerrero believe that the Reyes couple were related to Cash Out Ace when he saw them drive by in a Dodge Charger, but they had no connection to the rapper at all. They were just an innocent couple who happened to get caught in the crossfire of a deadly gang beef. Padilla would tell police that they followed the Reyes couple back to their home and waited for them to begin exiting the vehicle. They would then start firing at them with AR-style pistols and drive away. They would then circle back and start firing again before returning to Guerrero's home. A few hours later, they were watching the news when a report came on about the Reyes murder. Rather than being shocked that they had though. killed an elderly couple by mistake, bro. Guerrero and Rico seemed happy about what they had done, believing that they had killed Cash Out Ace's grandparents. After Badil's confession, Guerrero 10K was charged with two additional capital murders for the deaths of Rosalba and Ramiro Reyes. So now Guerrero 10K is facing four murders, including the two bodies he caught at the music video shoot and the murder of the Reyes couple. Texas is a state that has a death penalty, so if convicted, Guerrero could be sentenced to death. If that wasn't bad enough, police were able to tie Guerrero and the 10K gang to a fifth murder that occurred just before the Reyes murder. Earlier that month, a group of men was shot at after leaving the apartment complex uh, where a 10K cooked. gang member lived. They had been beefing with the 10K gang and had gone to the apartments to confront them. As they left, their vehicle was followed by another car that pulled out of the apartment complex. Once they got out of the parking lot, the vehicle tailing them started opening fire, causing them to drive off the road and hit a tree. Two of the men in the car escaped, but a third was struck inside the vehicle after getting hit with the bullet. The passenger in the other car walked up to the vehicle and started letting off more shots, killing the 19-year-old who was trapped inside. Police were able to connect Guerrero and Rico 10K to the murder after a female who knew them called police and claimed that the two had told her about the murder on a video call. The girl was able to provide the details that were not public information, leading police to believe she was telling the truth. Plus, it made sense knowing that they were beefing with the 10K gang right before the shooting took place. Just crashing out, police were also able to use shell casings found on the scene of the Cash Out Ace music video shoot and GPS tracking from both of their phones to confirm her story. So, things were not looking great for the 10K gang. There's a ton of evidence tying them to not just one shooting, but more than three that left five people dead and several others injured. When you include the fact that Guerrero was caught with all kinds of illegal weapons and drugs in his home, there's almost no way that he'll ever see the outside of a jail cell. He's not even a famous rapper with enough money to hire a top lawyer. 
So at this point, he'll be lucky to avoid the death penalty. Guerrero seems to be in the most trouble, considering he's been identified as the leader of the gang and seems to be the one calling the shots. But Rico and Roman are also facing similar charges. Even Kevin Badillo is likely looking at several decades behind bars, even though he cooperated and will have a tough time in prison being labeled a snitch. The whole situation is tragic. Not only were the murders senseless, but they were also committed in a way that was so bold and sloppy that the killers left a perfect trail of evidence for the police to follow. Plus, most of the victims were just innocent bystanders with no gang affiliations or ties. There's nothing gangsta about killing an elderly couple or a cameraman, and now these dudes are going to spend the rest of their lives behind bars for absolutely no reason. But at least it seems like justice will be served and their families will get some closure. And I feel like that's the most crazy thing, right? You told the police everything, right? So you snitch your hopes of, oh, having a good deal, you'll be out, right? You don't have to worry about facing life or this or not. Bro, now you see, like, like they just said, he's spending decades regardless. So let's say he gets about 25 years. Bro, you still doing 25 years, one. And two, now you leave it as a snitch. So what you think that's going to do when people find out you a snitch? You facing 20, you in, you in it for 25 years. Hmm. So you cooked either way, bro. This is why, bro, I'm a, I'm a civilian, bro. If y'all like videos like this, let me know in the comments. Like the video.